everyone, this is NZ Tech Freak, Murray Winniata with another video for the Clove blog. Uh, this time looking at the HTC Sensation, uh, which lots of you have a keen interest in, in particular knowing how it stacks up against Samsung's Galaxy S2. Um, what I want to show today really quickly was just that MHL connections for the Sensation are working absolutely perfectly. So as you can see, we have a Sensation hooked up to my television and it's actually connected by an official Samsung MHL cable since HTC ones aren't available but as you may be aware MHL is a connection standard so we should see this level of interoperability between manufacturers and one difference that you might notice between this and the Galaxy S2 is this one actually says HDMI in the notification tray when you've got an MHL cable connected Sadly, in the Sense UI, we can't rotate the home screen to landscape, so we're not going to get full screen within home screen elements and user interface elements within Sense itself. We could, of course, get around that by installing an alternate user interface like Launcher Pro. Um, anyway, just want to jump in and really show a few things, sorts of things that you can do when you have MHL, just as we were able to do on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, obviously, First port of call is just to check out video out and just to show you all that it will output in full 1080p. I say 1080p, really it's outputting at 1080i like the Samsung Galaxy S2, but that's because this is compressed media. I understand that I haven't yet had a chance to test that fully uncompressed video will actually output at 1080p. Quite why you'd want to put fully uncompressed video on your mobile phone where storage space is at somewhat of a premium, I don't quite know, um, but apparently the possibility is there. So, just going to jump straight in. This is uh, Dice Player, which is significantly more kind of wide codec capable than the stock player within the HTC Sensation. So, a sort of significant, um, I guess, downgrade from the Galaxy S2 in that regard. But with Dice Player, you can effectively get around most of the problems. So, I'm actually going to jump straight to Born Automaton Trailer. Now, this one is in 1480p um, and it's MP4 file format so it's able to make full use of the hardware decoding um, that's available in Dice Player and may not show that well on, video, on the video but looks fantastic on the screen here really sharp, lovely um, and playing really smoothly for things that aren't natively supported like MP4 it does struggle a bit more with 1080p than Samsung Galaxy S2 for instance the DivX demo video Big Buck Bunny which is a, a 1080p DivX in the MKV file format container uh, just stutters and doesn't really play it's unwatchable on the sensation whereas it's just perfect even on the stock player of the Galaxy S2 so that's just just a quick note about that 720 PMKV plays really well within Dice Player. Keen gamers out there obviously will want to know that emulators like N64 Oid are working well on the sensation. Can confirm that indeed they are. So let's just jump right in. A little bit more stuttering and hitching in this opening sequence before races in Mario Kart than the Galaxy S2. But in game performance, really nice. And once again, this is working with the Phone Joy game controller. So controlling the on-screen action with the controller. And I'm not really paying attention to my racing here, but really good experience, just like it is in the Galaxy S2. Now, the reason this is working on the Sensation is that the Sensation actually has Bluetooth HID support, which is pretty new for an HTC device. Um, so other HID devices, such as Bluetooth keyboards, are also working. Although the Bluetooth mouse support is a bit more spotty than what you'll see on Samsung Galaxy S2. So there's no mouse pointer and it detects movements, um, but only utilizes them, as, utilizes them as swipes within the user interface. So anyway, just a quick demo. Really good gaming experience there with the phone join in 64 oid while we're on the topic of gaming, obviously just want to have a look at something like Game Off's Dungeon Hunter 2 HD just to show you that 
high quality gaming even when it's stretched to a 1080p 42 inch LED display still looks actually pretty good definitely adds something to your gaming experience finally just want to have a quick look at browsing obviously having the QHD display browsing is a bit nicer on the big screen everything's slightly crisper than when the Galaxy S2 is doing it and also you fit a bit more of the web page in the screen I've actually paired my Bluetooth keyboard up to this so I just wanted to demonstrate the Bluetooth head support that's now in place Unfortunately it's somewhat more limited in the Galaxy S2 in that you can't use a Bluetooth mouse which makes the internet experience a bit more of a downer on the big screen because you actually have to sit close enough to touch the phone uh, rather than just doing it all very much like a desktop experience like what you can have with the Galaxy S2. Um, but as you can see, pages render beautifully, everything looks really crisp and nice and partly that's because we're outputting at a higher resolution than the Galaxy S2 is capable of. Um, obviously flash performance takes a hit on the Sensation versus the Galaxy S2 as well. That said, the Sensation can still do 720p flash within the browser, so all isn't lost, but I think overall, largely because of the Bluetooth and mouse support, I'd have to give the Galaxy S2 the nod when it comes to browsing on an external monitor using some Bluetooth devices to control it. It's a much more dislike desktop like experience but still if you're prepared to sit close enough to the phone to control it with the Bluetooth keyboard you're getting a pretty good experience here as well. So that's MZ Tech Freak signing off with the Clove Blog.